In this episode, I'm going to be showing you 10 tips on how you can protect your home and your family from burglars and thieves from breaking into your sliding glass door. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So friends, welcome back to my home security video series. I know you guys have been enjoying my past videos concerning home protection. This is one of the most requested videos that I've gotten on my comments and also my TikTok comments. Also, if you're interested on my other past videos concerning home security, check out these videos right here because they will be uh, useful ones that you can use on through your door your garage door your windows and this is going to be an addition that you can use for your arsenal to protect your home from those invasions before i even show you tip number one let me just show you how burglars can easily break into your sliding glass door effortlessly so this might give you some awareness let me show you what we're looking here is your typical sliding glass door looks like it's secured because you have that lock but think again you look right here in the very bottom let me show you the weakness of these doors. I'm just gonna lift this door. See this? There is a huge gap that is going from the track to the door. All the burglar needs to do is lift this door up and push forward and they can easily get this door to slide inwards. And there you have it. You're, they can easily gain access to your house. You're probably wondering how are they gonna get through and getting this lifted? All they need to do is get a pry bar like this. It's gonna jam it right underneath, pull up, and this door is already starting to lift. So what if a burglar doesn't have a pry bar to use to lift that up? Well, they can get sophisticated and probably use a suction tool like this one. Now, I actually use this for my flooring install. Check out my flooring videos if you're interested. You can take two, go against the glass like so, and then they put another one here and they can just easily lift up. Two of these can definitely lift this door upwards. So hopefully I got your attention and made you more aware. Now let's get to tip number one. The most easiest way you can prevent sliding door break-ins is pretty much just locking your door. I don't fully trust in these latches because they're so vulnerable and weak. Tapping on this, this is just little effort and it just pops up. An invader or intruder can actually be on the outside and they, if this is metal just like what you see on this one they use a magnet or some type of strong earth magnet or something and they can just use that to wiggle this up and look at that it already pops up so what i highly suggest you do is find i don't have one in to replace this but replace your handle with a much stronger version this is actually more than 20 years old and that's why it's so easy to lift up like that replace this one with a newer model so the next tip that i have for you friends very easy one my parents actually use this a lot this is actually a, just a regular dowel or if you have any stick that can go feed through the track right there this one's just a folding door blocker what's great about this is that you can use this to jam on just a regular door with a knob but what's great is you can actually take this pin out take out this yoke take the other side off this can be adjusted now to fit as a blocker if you don't have a dowel rod as a blocking tool all the tools that i use in this video i am not sponsored i bought this all with my own money but if you're interested on this and the rest of the tools that i'll be showing you throughout this video i'll leave a link on the description down below check out those links another tip that i highly advise is to have a dog now it doesn't matter what size dog that you have whether it be a big dog small dog like my dog jew here it doesn't it doesn't matter because either way you're gonna have somebody there that's gonna alert you if there's someone's trying to break in or near your door good old jew like what i showed you before just lifting this door right here lifting this see that huge lift it's because there is a big gap up above is you want to eliminate this gap right here best way to do that is let's go insert some screws on the rail the screws that i'm going to be using you can use inch and a half inch and a quarter this one's about one inch now these are actually wood screws construction wood screws there's going to be two on each side so i'm going to pick anywhere probably going to go install one here and one beside it probably even go halfway one two 
and then you can probably insert one there. So total of six screws. So when you're screwing this up above, what's great about it is that you can adjust it all the way to the right proper height. So this will not run into it. Let's go screw on right beside it. see if the door is going to hit and if it does we'll adjust it so it looks like it doesn't what to do is you want to test the door up see that there's a little bit i'm lifting the door and there's still a little bit of play i try to just play with it adjust it and then lower the screw a little bit test it out again and there you go there's about i don't know there's about a 16th lift but that should be enough for this thing to not move up. There we go. There we go. Gap between the door and the rail has been reduced. This took less than a minute to install, friends. Super easy. Installing that up there. There's no more lift. It's not even budging. It's only probably lifting about 1 16th of an inch. And that is barely. See that? You're protected. Next tip for you friends. You're probably familiar with this one because I use this on my window video as well. And that is the vibration window sensor. This was getting tampered on. This will definitely alarm. Comes with this sticker, double-sided. This is actually another tip. If you actually have security stickers that you can post where a burglar or a thief can see it from the outside, that could possibly deter them from breaking into your home. This one's actually a two-in-one deal. You have your vibration sensor and it comes with this security sticker as well. So let's go and install this easily. So all you gotta do for this one, it takes two AAA batteries center it for this one you can place it right here where it's easily seen but my mom wanted to place it right here i'm not going to place it too high she's only like five one and i want her to be able to reach the sensor right here so that in case that it does go off she can easily turn it off this alarm will go off to over 120 decibels so that's very very loud to show you how loud it is let's just go to Right there, right when you turn it on, there's going to be a warning light. It can in actually increase the, the decibel sound level by going to the plus sign. Tap it. That thing is loud. I think it just messed up my ears. Again, if you're interested on this product, I'll leave the link on the description down below. This next product that I want to show you is this patio door security lock. You can either install this on your top or bottom rail. Press up, it locks. You push that this, this you push this little button. This piece right here, you can install it on the bottom track, but unfortunately this won't be able to fit there. So I'm gonna be able to fix that onto the top area. But notice that there's still a gap right there. Fortunately, we can't install this on this way. What you can do, and it will still work, is you flip this and you can install it like so. So I'm just gonna flip it. So tip number nine is, I know this is one that's made for the door, but this clamp right here can also be made for a sliding door. All you have to do is loosen it up and get to as closest to the sliding portion of your door. And all you have to do is tighten it up, latch it in place, and this door would not budge. So I would do one at the top, one in the bottom to be extra secure and to release it super easy. Just loosen it up and it will come right off if there's an emergency. Now tip number 10, this one is a one-sided film. You can see that this one I have it installed also on my bedroom um, double doors. This one you install it from the inside and you can see that you can see it from one side but if you go inside looking out you can see right through your outside your glass door. So friends that's pretty much all the tips that I have for you. If you enjoyed every single one of these tips I want to know actually let me know in the comment section down below which tip you use which one you found very useful and very easy to do and which one you're planning to do in the future. So 
leave a comment down below so once again friends please share this video to everyone that you know so that you can further help them out if they have a sliding glass door please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell if you found this video helpful and i'll see you friends on the next video